hey hi hello everyone so hope you all are doing well <clears throat> so in today's uh, lecture we will see how we can control uh, download traffic using uh, QoS on uh, Palo Alto firewall so let's uh, go through today's uh, topology that we will be using to demonstrate this lab um, in this uh, topology as uh, you can see uh, that we have a internet router on internet router we have connected one internet PC on the other side of the internet router is we have a site one wherein uh, there is one Palo Alto firewall on the egress side of the Palo Alto firewall goes the internet router on inside interface uh, it goes to uh, one LAN router we can say it's a you know LAN network and on the LAN side router uh, there is one uh, PC connected uh, named as site one PC so in this scenario basically what we are going to do is we are going to download SMB traffic from internet PC over to site one PC and we are going to restrict download speed in this case and uh, this is uh, uh, what we are going to achieve using this lab so before we uh, start with implementation on how to control clear text download traffic in Palo Alto let's first see uh, from this uh, site one PC when it tries to download something from uh, you know this internet PC how much download speed it is getting and post configuration of our QS on Palo Alto um, you know how much uh, uh, difference we can see so let me quickly go to uh, site one PC so basically this is our site one pc and that is the content on internet pc i'm downloading that from internet pc over to this site one pc as you can see it is uh, getting approx we can say 1.5 meg of uh, speed at the moment right so now uh, uh, let me cancel this one and now let's uh, continue with qs configuration on uh, our firewall so first thing that we need to do on our firewall is to define uh, qs policy and basically in this case our QS policy would be the traffic that is going from inside interface to uh, you know outside interface so description we can say uh, clear text uh, clear text traffic source uh, we can source zone will mention it as inside zone source address any uh, we can narrow it down as per our requirement destination would be outside zone application is like this one we are testing with uh, SMB so I'll just select this MS DS SMB uh, service would be any toss nothing other settings will uh, mention this in uh, class 3 as of now so that's uh, completed next what we will do is we need to define the QoS profile so in this case uh, I have already defined this QoS profile uh, in this egress max like uh, we have given as one Mac and egress guaranteed is 0.4 
so let's change this egress max to 0.2 and on this profile uh, let me delete this and recreate so what we need to do is we need to add a uh, class here uh, as we are we are trying to control the download traffic for uh, class 3 as mentioned in the QS policy uh, we have mentioned this as a class 3 priority would be 3 a uh, priority would be medium and uh, egress max here will mention it uh, will give it as 1 meg egress guaranteed uh, let's do it 0.2 for now and that is what the clear text profile we will create for now next uh, we need to apply this clear text profile on eth 1 slash 2 interface as that would be the egress interface for downloading the traffic uh, default profile in this case let's mention clear text profile tunnel interface we are mentioning none on egress uh, let's consider we have a isp provided bandwidth as 10 meg so i'm just mentioning that as 10 mb for now on the uh, egress guaranteed uh, let's mention it as uh, 1 meg and on egress max also 1 meg on um, qos profile we'll name it as uh, internet on a QS profile name is the clear text one that's the profile we already created source interface will not mention anything as of now so that's it uh, let's give uh, oh yeah I need to enable the QS on ETH 1 slash 2 and let's validate the commit Okay, configuration is valid. Let's uh, give a commit. Okay, cool. So commit is completed. Now let's go to our site one PC and let's try to download the same file from internet PC and see how much speed we get As you can see now the speed has been reduced to 118 KB per second as per the configuration that we have mentioned on our QoS profile. So to monitor this what we can do is we can go to statistics and just to make sure that we are hitting the correct uh, correct uh, profile we can see here that the class 3 profile wherein egress max is 0.2 but egress maximum guaranteed mentioned as 1 mac so that's the reason it's used utilizing complete 1 mac over here so the value bandwidth limit shown include hardware adjustment factor so it's not the case that we are seeing a one meg over here we'll get the same one meg you know uh, downloaded on the client pc so it as it varies on you know uh, application to application also so uh, that's all for uh, this lab if you have any question uh, any comment uh, anything you want me to comment uh, 
please uh, post on the comment will uh, will be happy to uh, you know answer on that um thanks for watching have a good day bye